All right, it looks like you have another one. What's up? All right, guys, before the video starts, I'd like to thank, we'd like to thank all of y'all for your support and because all of y'all were getting more business. All right, guys, so we're located here in McAllen, Texas, and we, if you need any more information, if you want to do your vehicle or anything, email us down below. We do not put our phone numbers for privacy reasons, but just email us and we'll get in contact with y'all. Anyone who it is, we'll get in contact with y'all and we'll tell you any more information you guys need. And the way that we do it, guys, is that we only charge for labor, and all we do is just give you a list of the things you need. And if you guys have, are in a budget or anything, if you guys take for like, if, take, if you guys take a week or a month, that's totally fine. Just get all the things you guys need, and just bring by, and we'll help you out. And all right, guys. So we have the jeep right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all the moldings over here in the bottom. We're gonna wrap them in black, and we're also gonna play around with it and do the grill black. But the rest of the Jeep, we're going to do it green. All right, guys, so you already know what we're going to do. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start signing the whole Jeep. As you can see, all the clear coat is already faded away, so it's going to be really easy for me to, to sign everything. So let me get to it. <laughs> Guys, so we're pretty much done sanding the whole vehicle. Uh, the only thing we're doing right now is getting the little touches where the sander can't really get there. And uh, like we said before in previous videos, you do not want to leave any clear coat because if you leave any clear coat, the Raptor will not stick onto it and it will just fall right off. All right, guys, so let's, we're just doing no touch ups and pretty much gonna be able to wrap it afterwards. All right, guys, the last thing we have to do now is just uh, clean up the black plastics and we're gonna get it ready and wrap through the wrap through it black. For tomorrow, we're gonna let it sit overnight. So tomorrow in the morning, all we have to do is we're just gonna have to take from here all the way down, cover all the black, and so we can uh, get ready to wrap through the green. But uh, before some of, some of the people start saying uh, about the overspray and whatnot, we know about the, the windows, overspray, everything, but, uh, if the windows get dirty, we'll clean them. And the tires, you can see that they're all uh, messed up, they're flat, but we'll, we're gonna get new ones so we can put them on there. And we'll each covered up the lights and everything. So that's all we have to do. And so let's get to it. All right guys, now that the passes are clean, I'm gonna add to my pizza promoter. Okay guys, so we're, we're going to start with the first pass already, and remember the first pass is very light. So, here go. Alright guys, that's the first coat. We're gonna give it about 40 minutes, let it dry, and we'll come back and give it the second pass, alright? Alright guys, it's been 40 minutes. 
And as you can tell, it already looks black enough, but we're gonna give it the second pass already, so let's get to it. So we're done with the second pass and as you can tell it really looks really black. So we're just gonna let it sit overnight. Tomorrow in the morning, we're gonna tape it up and do the green. Okay. Alright guys, so we let the paint sit overnight and as you can tell it looks really dark and even, it looks really nice. All we're gonna do now is just tape up the black and we're gonna start uh, uh, wrapping the green. Alright guys, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so now that we're going to continue, um, there's a user by the name of Young Guns Pulling Team, and he gave us a real great tip. And this being YouTube, where it's a community of people that kind of watch videos and we support each other and help each other, we want to use his little tip and mention him in the video. Now, guys, uh, we really appreciate all the comments, but, you know, sometimes there's comments of people that we just don't understand the bitterness or, or, the, or the just the ill intent behind their comments. For example, we have this gentleman that kind of took the time to go through every one of the videos and, and kind of just say negative things, very, very nasty things. And, uh, you know, one of the things he mentioned is that he's a 30 year professional and that, that this is uh, basically, you know, this is garbage. And, you know, he just took the time to go in every one of our videos and bash that. Um, guys, you know, we don't need that. Every time that we, that we post a video, what we're trying to do is that we're trying to learn how to, how to improve our skills. And what we're trying to do is uh, just to help people that, that aren't at this level yet. We're not saying that we're at such a high level, but uh, you know, it's been going pretty well. So, uh, you know, for those of you that, that kind of uh, put your input and support us and kind of give us tip like this, this gentleman and young guns pulling thing, thank you so much. Uh, as for the rest of the people that just have negative comments and, and bad things to say, um, sir, to that gentleman with 30 years of experience or, or I don't know what he boasted about, uh, sir, you might have 30 years of experience in painting cars, but in life, you really don't have too much experience. Um, you know, it doesn't really, doesn't really match for a 30 year old man or however old you are to be bashing a bunch of kids uh, that are trying to do something. But, you know, right now we're going to go and continue the video and go ahead and take it away. All right, guys. So we're going to try a little method that uh, Young Guns Police team uh, gave us. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to use the aluminum foil and we're going to wrap the rear of the the wiper and the roof racks. All right, so let's get to it. And you know what? I can't believe that we hadn't thought about that because that whole roll of a hundred feet of aluminum foil is two dollars and paper is a lot more expensive, lot so. More expensive. so thanks for the tips homie and you know like he said if we ever have any wires or any you know anything like that we have to wrap i mean look at that you don't even have to put tape on it maybe just right there Right there in that piece, you might want to put a little bit of tape on it yeah. just to to make it latch, but it's a lot quicker and a lot. Uh, do the racks. Right now, just come back and put a little piece of tape on it. All right.
guys. We're pretty much uh, already finished uh, taping up everything, the bottom, black, the windows, everything. All we're gonna do now is just clean up with some paint thinner and we're gonna get ready to go and uh, spray the wrapper. <laughs> All right, guys, now that the painting is all dried up, I'm going to add some more heat to promote it. But as a reminder, guys, we know that we say it in every single video, but you cannot leave clear coat because if you leave clear coat, the Raptor won't stick. So I'm just going to apply the heat to promote All right, guys, we're ready to spray the green Raptor on the, on the vehicle. All right, guys, that's it for the first coat. We're just gonna let it sit there for about 40 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and give it the second coat. All right, guys, we already let it sit there for about 40 minutes, and we came back to do the second coat. The second coat, it already looks good, green, but like I said, we gotta give it the second coat already, okay? that much of a gloss so we turned up the PSI so it'll get a nice dark green kind of look to it so it looks nice and it does customers will be really happy with it and once again thanks to Young Guns Pilling Team for the good advice with the aluminum foil on covering up the this and the racks on top so just gonna let it uh, we're just gonna let it dry up and we'll come and show you the end result. Alright guys it's been about two hours so we're just gonna start taking off all the paper. All right, so it looks like you guys are done. Okay guys, so we're pretty much done with the Jeep. As you can tell, it's all finished. And as you can tell also that I put it under the shade. So you can tell that matte kind of uh, color and it looks really cool. And over here on the sun, you can see that shine, which looks pretty cool too. So if you guys just take a look around. All right, you guys did a good job in this one too, guys. I think that this is the first green, green one that you guys have done. And it actually looks really cool. That forest green color looks really, really nice. 
Not bad. Oh wow, check that out guys. It looks really cool in the shade. Really cool. So guys, like I said, if you guys have any questions, just email us and we'll be happy to reply to all of y'all. So just thank you, thanks for all the support and just like and subscribe.